Good evening, fellow punters. Mickey D, the bookie basher, with the with a couple of selections for tomorrow. Um, do I look back at last night? We had Janato, a double running on from Coral Blue yesterday. Um, got going too late, finished uh, next second. Pity Danny Tudhope at the furlong pole didn't get the twig out and give him a few tears with it. He might have uh, got up for us, but um, overall it was a good day. Um, on the advised prices, there was a twenty-two pound profit, so we'll take that. We'll if we get one of them once a week. We'll be ha very happy going forward. Um, today I had a um, Pearl Warrior. Um, I just seen the replay a few minutes ago. I didn't see it actually when it was live. Um. It's like it's just like driving down the M50 and someone cuts across in front of you. Um, young fella had no chance uh, with the other horse. Uh, it was an awful pity because we got on at eight to one, and went off fives, and in that situation it's frustrating because you can't evaluate how well handicapped the horse is. I think it's well handicapped, and it had settled in in uh, fifth or sixth place there, and the way the race panned out, I don't think we'd have been losing our money. Um, it would have been in the first four but anyway as I say that's racing I have to knuckle down and uh, I had a bit of luck yesterday and you have it you know swings and roundabouts anyway uh, tomorrow three o'clock at Ludlow uh, Java Pint it's a seven year old out of stowaway trained by Tom George Johnny Burke is riding it and it's rated 126 13 lifetime starts uh, two wins, four seconds, two thirds. So it's fairly consistent. I won a pint to pint uh, for Colin Bow three years ago, and I won a maiden hurl in Warwick last March. It was rated 121 at the time. It was four chase starts, and the 10th of January is won a handicap chase in Ludlow. So, so it goes on the course um, over two miles four. And then on the 29th of January, it was second to Imperial Alcazar in a handicap chase in Cheltenham. Now, that's good class. Uh, and Beakstown was second, rated 130. And Oscar Elite and Solo and Goa Lil was behind um, Java Pint. So the step up and trip after being a previous pint to pint winner, uh, the step up trip or the step up to three miles will suit. Um, it was second as well in a hurl race in Ludlow to Dusart. Um So it, it, first and second, the two runs at, at the track. Uh, it's a nine to four uh, shot. And it's, there's only five horses in the field. And there's three nine-year-olds and an 11-year-old. And this like being an unexposed seven-year-old. Nine to four. I'd fancy that like, you know, to go pretty close. And I, I'd recommend a, a three-point win. Um, there's a maiden hurl in uh, Clanmel, uh, the four ten at Clanmel, and there's a horse Plains Indian for Andy Slattery. To second the last twice, to second to Stateman. I know it was beaten ten or twelve lengths, but Stateman is a is a good horse for Mullins, and then it was second to a short enough favourite of Joseph O'Brien's uh, French name. Um, so it has a couple of runs over hurls and a second over the the course, I think. Um I'd imagine it'd be six to four, seven to four, something like that. So we could go a two pint win on that and a pint double. Um we have we're up a few pounds, we have the bit of bollocks a bit this week now, so um we're going to uh, we're not going to go mental, but we're just going to uh, squeeze the nuts a bit in tighter now for a couple of days and see how we're going. So uh Great to see uh, familiar names there. Uh, Gary Tippett aboard and Thomas Agnew and uh, Kevin Hassett, uh, A.D. Z, uh, Michael McCarthy, the, the shrewd Kerry man who loves the flat. Uh, looking forward to uh, Saturday now. If you uh, hook him as out on Saturday in uh, Medan and uh, Emirat Anna and uh, there's another one in the sprint as well that I might be looking at. And uh, 
The legendary AC Irish got in touch today and left a message. Great to have you on board, AC. Uh, definitely in the Punters Hall of Fame, no doubt, in time. So that's what it's all about, is uh, getting a, a circle of uh, punters together and uh, try and take the bookies' money. So uh, if we do ever fill a wheelbarrow, or anybody ever wheels a wheelbarrow, there's a fellow who was on to me there, Brendan O'Mara, he's up in Dundalk, and he's putting on a bit of weight now. He's slobbering and bollocks and, uh, before Jordan and after uh, Dundalk soccer matches. So uh, he doesn't believe in uh, paying for gym fees. So if anyone wheels, fills a wheelbarrow anywhere around the country, O'Mara said he'll travel and wheel it home, no charge. So there you go. Nice of him to do uh, to make that offer. So get filling, boys. Get the wheelbarrows ready. Cheltenham is coming up. We're up a few pounds this month, so hopefully we can keep it going. So there's two for tomorrow. Um, the three o'clock at Ludlow. Jab a pint. It's a nine to four shot, three pint win. And uh, the four ten at Clonmel, Plains Indian. Um, I've no price on that yet, but I'll see. I'll put it up if I get it before I put up the uh, video. And uh, a pint win on that, and a pint win double. Happy punting, Mickey D, over and out. Keep bashing those bookies.